bit of rain outside and so I'm going to test uh, this new firmware from Emmanuel Ferro uh, which is said to, to have la less noise, more efficient and I added it to my online compiler so here so you can simply uh, just, uh, this uh, uncommands a uh, variant ADC and then I can use my new uh, quite quite nice because it's I use the 15 volt from here and then a regulator I only had a 5 volt regulator and so 120 kilo ohm for the 220 kilo ohm potential meter you should use a 3.3 .3 volt regulator uh, because then you could also add a uh, skip this uh, resistor and add a second um, potential meter for for the steer that's going to be my set uh, testing board and so two of the 6.5 I also will test the 10 inch and uh, yeah, um, I think it's already ready to go, 36 volts, so let's see. This is the old firmware, this is a Niklas firmware. Yeah, that's, you yeah, should have listened to the noise. So now uh, turn it off and go into program mode, so continuous bridge. And then we need uh, so to select the Imane Ferro, Ferro, I don't know. So let's yeah, start. And okay, so now we have turn off, turn on again. And so this is now the the new firmware, so listen. This is definitely less noisy. And uh, I also, show, uh, afterwards I show you a test on the street uh, with uh, my new test uh, solar car with uh, these wheelbarrow uh, 16 inch wheels. And with uh, this new firmware, I <sighs> with this new firmware, I achieved the 24 uh, kilometer per hour. With uh, uh, firmware, uh, the original firmware, the max speed was 20 kilometer per hour. I cannot say anything about the power consumption at 24 because it might be uh, uh, more. But this 24. Uh, it's less noise, uh, higher speed, and uh, 25 kilometers per hour is going to be the speed limits for pedal-assisted uh, bikes here in, in Germany, and therefore I definitely uh, will, will switch to, to this new firmware. No, mixing these uh, did not <laughs> work also for the original Nicholas firmware, and with both of them it's even worse. So this is something I would not have expected. You see now if I... See the, the first one really spins incredibly fast and this one not at all. Sometimes they won't move at all. You see right now. So there must be some huge uh, difference in the, in the timing. And so now let's, uh, I will show you the, the new firmware. So now we have the other, so it might have different timings. I only uh, could try different settings there, so but just the default setting. So you see the right already spinning, whereas the other one ne needs a push. And uh, maybe these motors are broken. Um, the most one MOSFET of the board. Where is it? Uh, I had to unsolder and order new ones. But I could program this board, and uh, the, the left side here, the complete side is fully functional so I don't think uh, with, with these motors uh, but don't know um, so all the three phases seem to be okay because when I shortcut two of them then I can uh, see here a, a torque and, and so the, the whole sensors also seem to work because otherwise uh, the Emanuel firmware would get uh, output an arrow beeping you see now this is at least spinning uh, equally fast and uh, very fast, slightly. So now you see it's okay, but uh, then it's 
I don't think it's a resonation here. It's, it's something in the motor, because that happened also also happened when I mixed the motors that uh, from one time to the other suddenly this uh, very harsh noise. But again, uh, you, you might uh, compare this. They are only <laughs> slow speed, and they are already spinning very fast, and, and so. Um, it, it needs a special timing because uh, these. Um, it seems I, I will, I will show maybe I'll open the motor and show you here. Uh, the windings inside uh, seem to be quite different, and um, so other thing to say. What's nice here is that um, the shaft is longer, uh, so if you would mount uh, bigger uh, tires to 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 such a motor, and uh, then you could, would have. Uh, a longer shaft to to hold the the, the, the weight of the, the the car, and also nice uh, you, you can unscrew on on the front side and on the back side, and so it's, I always wanted to test these motors, but uh, I'm not really um, that confident that they will uh, work with uh, such a firmware. So again, uh, starting. See, it needs a time, and the Emanuel firmware at least uh, it, it gets them spinning. Yeah. So can I put some load on on on? Yeah. So okay, they are working. But I had hoped that they would spin uh, more slowly uh, than, than these ones, and that they definitely do not. Here another load test uh, at slow speed because if the hold sensors uh, would uh, be, be broken, uh, then they would behave differently. And so yes, it's easy. If I put load, then I can stop. And now the other motor. You see that really quite quite the same so i don't think that, that the motors uh, are the problems is a problem but uh, the the timing with, with the firmware was, has to be adapted to uh, to the 10 inch i and now i will open such a motor and show you what's inside no they are exactly the same so here when you unscrew you can take two screwdriver and then one here and one the other and then push this thing apart then you find here 30, 30 magnets, neodymium, and here we also have 30 magnets. And here we have 27 coils at about one, 10, 10.5 centimeters, and that's exactly the same as here, so nearly the same. And therefore, it doesn't really make much sense to, to take such a motor because the bigger diameter is only wasted uh, for for the tire rims uh, tires uh, infl inflatable tires but uh, the, the, here as i said the shaft is a bit longer this might be uh, of 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 help but um, now i again don't know understand why this motor does behave so differently uh, which uh, indicate that uh, maybe the hold sensors are broken uh, but as i just showed uh, they both be behave the same and usually uh, it's it's a board that that's, that breaks down. But okay, now you have seen the inside of these 10 inch and the 6.5 inch. Okay, now for the for for the test with these tires. This now is the the original Nicholas Fate. Uh, And so now let's. So now this is a, the other, the new firmware. So uh, switch on. And now. And this is definitely not. Uh, I won't say a lot on the speed because I'm now going out on the street to test it there. But it's at least it's very it's definitely more silent and so i will 
switch from my own uh, serial um, firmware to, to this firmware. Now the whole sensors are okay, as I already guessed, so I simply LED. This is a 500 ohm resistor. And so simply here that's uh, one the, with a lengthy. So if I just uh, now, uh, you see I turn the wheel and that's one whole cell sensor, that the other one, and that the third one, and now the other tire. The other wheel. And therefore the whole sensors are okay. And as I said, by simply, uh, you see when you shortcut one of the two of these three phases, then you have a torque on the motor and this uh, indicates that the, the windings inside are also okay. So I really think it's a problem with the firmware and the, with the timing.